Hey, what's going on, NFL fans and Atlanta Falcon fans? This your boy, Antoine Smith, 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 the Sports Machine. Y'all know I get down. Y'all know I do it, man. Press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell. Get my videos as soon as I drop them. Also, press that like button to help me get my videos through the YouTube universe. I greatly appreciate that as always. But the Atlanta Falcons have released Jacob Tuio, the Mariner, and this is a surprise to me because I think he's one of those key rotational guys. But... You know, Dean Pease has some up his sleeve always. And if you look at what they've been doing lately, man, they've been rotating players in and out, releasing them, then resigning them. I actually think he'll be back. Um, but if he doesn't, it doesn't surprise me because I think somebody can pick him up real quick. There's a lot of teams in the NFL that could use him. And you know one person that comes to mind, Dallas, Dan Quinn. He was one of Dan Quinn guys coming out of UCLA along with Tat McKinley. But JTM, man, he has spent his first three seasons in Atlanta, played the six game this year, 30 overall in two and a half seasons. Uh, pretty decent stats. He had three sacks, 54 tackles, three fumble recoveries, two forced fumbles, three pass defense. And he started one game his rookie year. Uh, and if you remember against the Raiders last year, he won uh, – Defensive player of the week. So, he put up some fair numbers, man, while in Atlanta. But I think, like I said, I think he'll be back. Uh, and if he doesn't, I think he'll get picked up real quick because he can really move. But no need to describe with spill milk. Things happen. Um, also, another move that the Falcons made, Anthony Rush signed him to the 53-man roster. And if you did not see that game against New Orleans, man, you missed the gym. Um... He did what he was supposed to do. A lot of people look at numbers and they don't look at what he, you know, can do during the game. And I think um, he helped Gray Jarrett out a lot Sunday in New Orleans. Gave Jarrett, Gray Jarrett room to room. Um, he only had uh, three tackles, one tackle for loss. Uh, but it was big, man. If you could see the way he was opening angles. Now, the Saints did get, you know, a couple of carries off where they broke big runs. But... In a 3-4 defense, and if you haven't noticed Dean Pease when he was in Baltimore, um, he had a pretty heavy defensive line in front of those linebackers. And that is what the, Fal that is what the Falcons are going to have to do. They're going to have to put 300-pound guys in front of those linebackers uh, to get them a little bit more room to run. And I think that is the biggest problem. you got to find size up front. And Anthony Rush is just that at 6'4", 350 pounds. Um, and another thing, Jonathan Bullard did not play last Sunday, so that was a big blow as well. He's 6'3", about 300, over 300 pounds. So they lost size on that side of the, you know, or the defensive line. But when he comes back along with Anthony Rush, I think that helps the Falcons a lot. I think it helps their pass rush, and um, we'll see what happens. Also, they released Elliott Fry again from the practice squad, activated Caleb Huntley, and Wave Ryan Becker and Deidre Sinat, and Deidre Sinat has been has not been you know in on the radar for about two years. Um, you remember he was drafted in the third round by Dan Quinn, uh, but the last two years have been tough on him. I think it's injury. Uh, I think it's because of injury. But uh, wish him luck. And Ryan Becker, uh, the tight end, um, he was waived as well. Um, and this brings me to my question for this video about Mike Davis. Um, my boy Alberto, who always comes through. He said, hey fam, I hope all is well and thank you, everything is great, my friend. Uh, when will the right time to end the Mike Davis experiment? As I said, Caleb Huntley comes back. Also, Gallman shows glimpse when he's on the field. And that is the crazy part. Um, I think the Mike Davis experiment has failed tremendously. And I'm not being negative. I'm just being real. And y'all know I keep it real. Uh, but 75 carries on 258 yards, 3.4 yards a carry. One touchdown is not going to get it in the NFL. Now, mind you, Cordero Patterson, he's in that same uh, area with yards and carries, two touchdowns. But he is making a stride receiving and catching the football. He also has 38 catches for 459 yards and five receiving touchdowns. So he leads the Falcons in rushing yards and receiving yards. And he's a playmaker. And he also plays special teams. So he's out of that conversation. I agree. 
I think Wayne Garman should get more carries. You look at what he did. Um, well, this year he only has eight carries uh, for 33 yards, which is ridiculous. And you have Allison, who's on the practice squad, who's 6'1", 232 pounds, uh, has four career touchdowns, hasn't touched the ball this year, and only one time last year. So I don't know if that Allison don't fit what they do. Is he a Dan Quinn guy? Uh, but he's a big back, and that's what puzzles me. Uh, it's what Arthur Smith likes. I don't know if he's not picking up the system. I don't know what's going on. But you have to do something to get this thing going, man. Because as I said, 34 yards is not going to get you a victory in the NFL. And you can't put that much pressure on Matt Ryan. You need to balance the offense. If you balance the offense, it makes Matt Ryan more dangerous. It makes Kyle Pitts, Cordero Patterson, um, even Hayden Hurst or Christian Blake. And you see Olamide Zacchaeus, uh, he had two touchdowns, so it makes him even more dangerous. They resigned Marvin Hall, so I think uh, they got to balance this thing out, man, some way, somehow. Uh, and I agree. You got to get ball in Garvin's hands. He has over 1,000 yards in his four seasons in the NFL. Um, even last year, in 15 games, he rushed for almost 700 yards. So he can get the job done. He even had a 60-yard run. So he can be a game-breaking back. You just have to get him the carries. So until they do that, man, I think they're going to keep struggling. Mike David is better off as a second guy, which is why I said early in the season, start Cardero Patterson, which they did. Uh, but you still need that speed guy. And I've said on even on uh, Twitter, they need to get a running back that has a low center of gravity with speed that can catch out the backfield, catch those linebackers off guard, and uh, stretch, stretch the defense and open up you know, open up the offense. So until they do that, man, I think they keep struggling, but you have to do things um, that make you uncomfortable until you get it right. And I, I trust Arthur Smith, but his run game, he's going to have to get it together because he can't put all the pressure on the pass game. If you are one dimensional in this league, teams will catch on to that, and down you go. So um, Alberto, I definitely agree. Gallman, Allison, somebody has to step up other than Cordero Patterson. Uh, maybe, hopefully, Mike Davis can snap out of it. But at this point, doesn't look like it. And, and remember this. I was dogged out about not bringing back Todd Gurley. But to be brutally honest, I would have gave those $3 million to Todd Gurley if he would have took it. He had, what, 600-some yards last year, 700 yards. Nine touchdowns, a real red zone threat. So if you had a kept Tar girl and had Cordero Patterson and he would have had somebody take the weight off of him last year, Tar Gurley probably would have played, played a lot better. So imagine putting Tar Gurley where Mike Davis is. I'm not so crazy now, am I? It's just a thought. Y'all just keep that in mind. But um, those are my quick thoughts. Alberto, thank you for that question, man. I truly appreciate it. And thank you for always supporting the sports machine. But that's the end of this video, man. Y'all drop those thoughts in the comment box. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let's debate. Let's have fun as always. It's your boy Antoine Smith, 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 Smith Sports Machine. I'll let y'all later, man. Peace.